Hello and welcome to another episode of Moose's Gear Goo Review. I'm Moose and today we have our 2020 uh, holiday gift guide. So every year I do a gift guide or I try to and I recommend you guys some gifts and products that I've gotten a chance to use or test for that I like uh, that are great for uh, EDC, backpacking, camping and travel. So I got a couple of things that I'm going to share with you. Everything in this gift guide list is under $30 or at $30 and under. Um, just keep things affordable. Uh, they, some of these will make great stocking stuffers. Others will be great for EDC. Um, and other things will just, you know, kind of entertain. They're good gift ideas. So uh, let's get into it. And these don't go in any particular order. Um, I'm just going to go one item at a time. Um, I will leave links in the description below and if I've already done a review on any of these products I'll leave them in the eye in the upper right hand corner that being said the uh, first item we're gonna do is well let's get into the list work sharp pocket knife sharpener it's a small portable handheld uh, sharpener it has two sharpening surfaces we have <clears throat> a diamond plate on the one side which is great for taking up, uh, taking off any large chips or dings, uh, really kind of for reprofiling a little bit out in the field. And then once you get that profile done, you can really hone it up and sharpen it uh, really sharp with the ceramic rod side. Now both of them have uh, guides on either side that are about 20 to 25 degrees. So that way you can maintain an even angle while you're sharpening. Uh, as well as the, the ends are rubberized so you can have a good grip on this small sharpener. It's one piece uh, made out of a durable plastic. There are lanyard loops on either end of the sharpener. It's under 20 bucks which is a great price and pretty much no excuses for um, to not bring something like this along in your fishing kit, your hunting kit, or your camping kit or just even in your kitchen drawer so you'll always have something to keep your knives nice and sharp uh, designed for pocket knives specifically but you could even figure out a way to use it uh, it's very versatile and very affordable so that's the work sharp uh, pocket knife sharpener next up uh, is one a small little EDC tool um, I actually really enjoy this this is the Exotac Nano Spark uh, the Exotac Nano Spark is a nice, compact, small sparking wheel. Um, it's really simple to use. It, you can use it left-handed or right-handed. Uh, and uh, basically, you just have this small wheel uh, attached to this anodized aluminum handle, and uh, it produces sparks. Now, the cool thing with this device is there is a lanyard hole on it, uh, so it is designed potentially to go on a keychain or put a lanyard on it. You can wear it around your neck, whatever. Um, it's about two inches, two and a half inches tall, so you have good enough grip to use it. So kind of similar to one of those mini Bic lighter sizes. Uh, but the cool thing is it is also a capsule that holds tinder. So for starting fires, you have tinder. Uh, included it does come with a couple of these tinder tabs and uh, you just put them inside the capsule there is a rubber o-ring on there to keep it watertight and now you're always guaranteed to have dry tinder no matter where you're planning to start a fire it does come in a couple of different colors as far as the price goes it's under $30 and uh, it's a really cool well-made USA made product and I think you guys should check it out and make a great gift Alright guys, uh, this is kind of stepping away from the normal get outside type of thing, get out and travel, but because of COVID I know a lot of us are stuck indoors um, and relying heavily on our internet connections and why not have a great usable tool for that. Um, besides that knife mat being a great mouse pad, I decided why not recommend a great mouse to go along with it. And this is the Logitech G203 gaming mouse. Now I'm not a huge, I'm not a huge PC gamer by any means, but I do like playing my League of Legends from now and then. And uh, other than that, uh, 
I use my computer for work, I use it for surfing the web, watching those YouTube videos, and also editing my videos, and this is the mouse that does it all for me. Uh, so it is a wired mouse, so you don't have to worry about recharging it or putting in batteries. Um, and it's just a small, very sleek, smooth design. It is a six button design, toggle button on the very top, that smaller button there, and that lets you toggle through four different sensitivity settings on the fly. On that, it also is RGB compatible, and you can go into the uh, mouse app on the computer uh, using the software. You can program it to do different breathing techniques, only turn on when you click the mouse, you can turn it off, and you can pretty much change it to any uh, kind of color you want to match your peripherals. So, highly recommend it. At the time of this video on Amazon, it's going for 15 bucks. Um, at the most, it goes for about 30. Uh, highly recommend this mouse. I use it all the time. Great, great mouse. All right, guys, for all my tech travel buddies out there, um, the next item on the list is the Bag Smart Tech Electronic Organizer. So, the Bag Smart Electronic Organizer. Um, so this is a really cool uh, electronic organizing pouch. Um, why I like this one uh, is because it does have a rubberized patch on there that shows some electronic symbols. So you know that this is uh, made and meant for electronics. That being said, you could use it for any sort of EDC or survival things as well. Um, it's really cool though. You got a lot of different organizing options from elastic straps uh, on both sides to pockets and zippered pouches as well as SD card slots uh, for any sort of SD cards and memory cards that you might need. Um, they have these smaller pockets down here that work great for USB drives. These other tighter ones for um, different cords, markers, and chapstick. Um, so yeah, I really like this one. Uh, it is basically kind of six by nine and about an inch deep uh, so you are slightly limited but it does stay pretty flat and it slides in and out of any backpack very easy the materials are really well made uh, and the zippers function very well it comes in a couple of different colors uh, as far as I've seen black like a light blue or teal and a gray and at the time of this video this thing was under like 15 bucks so check out those links below uh, and see if you can score one because any uh, techie person uh, would really enjoy this so if you got that smartwatch smartphone and uh, earbuds it works great and that is the bank smart electronic organizer uh, we're getting down to the end of the list a couple items left but I always try to recommend a book and this year being stuck at home I got into something known as the burger show and I saw this dude named Je George Motz, and he's like a burger historian, and uh, he has a couple books, and I sort of decided to pick one up. And so this is a great um, item for a couple of different people. If you're a burger foodie fan, get this book, because it documents over uh, about 200 different uh, burger restaurants across America that, for whatever reason, are historically significant, regionally significant, or just evolutionarily significant when it comes to burgers. Um, so it goes state by state, uh, and I'm pretty sure you found a burger joint in almost every state. Some states have dozens of burger spots, uh, but this is the top 200 burger joints that he recommends that are significant in some way. It gives a little synopsis on uh, the history of the said burger joint, what type of, of burger uh, they're known for, and what he recommends to try. There's pictures of pretty much every place, and it's pretty interesting because there's a lot of burgers in here I never even heard of. So check it out. It's called America, uh, Hamburger America, and I'll leave the link down below. All right, guys. This next one is a cool knife lover's uh, gift item, and that is the Knaf uh, neoprene knife mat. So this knife mat is made of neoprene, uh, similar stuff as your uh, mouse pads. And uh, it basically <laughs> documents every little piece of information you might need to know about pocket knives. So for any pocket knife enthusiasts or knife enthusiasts for that matter, 
Uh, you can get them this matte and it makes a great working surface for cleaning up knives um, or handling any sort of delicate uh, smaller knives or other delicate tools. Um, you got plenty of information as far as knife profiles, knife grinds, uh, handle materials, um, blade shapes, and yeah, it's just super cool and it's great. So besides using it as a knife mat itself, this also would make a really cool desktop mouse pad. You know, at the time of this video, uh, it's on Blade HQ for like 10 bucks. Um, so I'll leave links in the description below for this. And at most, it's 20 bucks, 10 to $20. So really cool product, well made, and uh, any knife nut is gonna love it. All right guys, next up, is a knife uh, you guys know my channel I review a lot of knives and of course I have to re at least recommend one knife and the knife I couldn't help but recommending this year is the CRKT Pete uh, this has been an awesome budget offering by CRKT that pretty much hits the nail on the head when it comes to comes to an excellent EDC it's small compact lightweight uh, and the ergos and the design overall is very utilitarian um, and it's just awesome. Uh, we got uh, FRN handles, we got an aluminum uh, anodized blue backspacer, we have kind of like this nice drop kind of spear point tip, we have a thumb hole opening and it is a liner lock. Uh, the only thing is, oh no, it has a two-way pocket clip, left to right, tip up only. And uh, yeah, one of the best features in my opinion is that pocket clip. It has recessed screws and it's one of the smoothest, deepest carry pocket clips you can get on a knife under 30 bucks. Uh, and plain edge blade, can't say enough about this knife. Great for backpacking, hiking, EDC. Uh, the blade length itself is like just over two and a half inches, so it's under a three inch mark for any sort of urban EDC if you want an excellent EDC pocket knife uh, for any use. Definitely pick up the CRKT Pete. Um, just an awesome, awesome Vox Naze design. So Jesper Vox Naze. So super cool. Uh, I did do a review on this and I highly recommend this knife can't go wrong so please check out the CRKT Pete for any of your backpacking maybe not backpacking but your car camping overlanding and camping friends even walking campsite people um, you know sometimes you get to a site and there's really nothing there other than a fire ring and even then you might not even have one and uh, when I went on my camping trip in uh, the Boundary Waters we went to a couple sites and neither of the sites had picnic tables. They're very rustic. Uh, and when we were trying to cook breakfast on a cold, wet morning, we realized just having a dry, solid surface to set our cooking stove and utensils and eating utensils on was like we missed it and we took it for granted. That being said, I did my research and I found a portable aluminum camping table. Yes, I know this is kind of crazy. And normally, uh, when these types of folding camp tables came out, they were, you know, 100 bucks or more. Uh, of course, with different, uh, over time, they got cheaper in different manufacturing as well as imports. Uh, they've dropped significantly, and I was able to find a table for like 22 bucks. Just over $20, and I got this nice, uh, I think it's like 15 to 16 inch tall table and it is really impressive. Uh, it comes apart in two separate pieces. Whoa! Uh, and folds down into two separate pieces. It does come with a stuff sack and uh, yeah, I've used it a couple times over the day and I will be doing a review of it eventually. Um, but uh, yeah, works super great. I've tested with weight wise, it can hold up to 25 pounds um, easily, uh, which is honestly more than anyone should put on a small table like this. And when you think about those small folding camp chairs, um, when you're taking them into the backcountry, 
you know, it's about the perfect height. So um, I've tested already. I really recommend it. I think it'll be great for anyone who is uh, doing car camping. Uh, if you're into overlanding and you just need a small table outside, it'll be perfect. It folds down pretty small um, as far as like height wise. And uh, you can slip it into any vehicle. Uh, and uh, I think it works really good. Uh, it's an awesome little table for an awesome price. All right, guys, I got one last one that I just remembered, and this is going to be great for anyone who backpacks uh, as far as travels around like Europe or Southeast Asia, any sort of college student or retiree that, um, you know, stays at hostels or Airbnbs. This won't necessarily function everywhere, but in certain places and situations, this could come in real handy. Um, especially, uh, you know, I lived in Costa Rica for a semester. I traveled around Costa Rica a little bit and stayed in different hostels. And I think this would have come in handy in, in certain situations. This is what I recommend. Um, and this is a lock. So this is a door frame lock. It looks pretty weird and interesting, but basically what you do is you take this metal piece here that has these two prongs and you're going to stick it into the bolt hole in the frame of the door. Um, and that's going to slide in there and then you're going to shut the door. And then this has a little slider metal bolt here and you're going to slide that into this hole right there and basically wedge this uh, next to the door so that the door shut and it slides in there and when you try to open the door in, this red thing will block it. Um, and so I'll show some video clips of this, but it's pretty simple. It won't work on every door, but any sort of traditional door with a frame and a single bolt uh, doorknob lock uh, will fit in there and you just wedge this red piece in there and uh, the person opening the door into the room can't get in. So it's only for doors that open in, but I find it to be compact, uh, small enough and cheap enough that uh, I think it would be great for any sort of emergency, kid a bug out bag, you know, if, you know, shit hits the fan and you need to lock yourself in, you know, zombie apocalypse, whatever. Um, you know, it's small and thin enough and cheap enough that it just kind of makes sense. And for those of you that travel in hostels or stay at Airbnbs um, when you're cohabitating with the owner of the place and you don't know if they're a creep or not, you know, it just gives you that extra peace of mind. Um, and even if they are able to open it up, you'll at least wake up when they're trying to get in. But uh, yeah, so I thought that was a neat uh, device. It's small, as I showed, it fits into that uh, electronics organizer bag pretty easy. Comes with directions and a little drawstring bag so definitely recommend that that is the uh, door frame lock all right guys it took me way too long to film this but uh, I do it I need to get it done and uh, you know it's just some of the things I recommend and some of you that I know I've looked at my list before really do appreciate some of these gift ideas so um, there you go guys uh, I hope everyone has a safe and happy holidays. If you have any other recommended products or gift ideas, leave them in the comments below. Maybe you can help somebody out who's struggling. Or if you need me to recommend something, just ask down below like, hey, what would be good for somebody who uh, is a Bigfoot fan? I could totally recommend a Bigfoot gift idea. Uh, as well as pocket knives, flashlights, camping gear. You know, I don't necessarily get a chance to make videos of everything, but I do have experience with a lot of those things, so feel free to ask. On that, guys, uh, stay safe, happy holidays, like, comment, and subscribe. Share this with people you know that'll uh, find it useful, and uh, peace. I'll see you outside. Bye.